Hey Scorpio, it's Deb with Goddess in the Moon Tarot. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that this reading finds you safe. Shout out to my Soul Tribe members that are Scorpions. I definitely appreciate any energy exchanges. Definitely does not go unnoticed. All right, Scorpio, let's see what your moon cycle is for this week. So you got whining crust, surrender, number 26. So that is eight in numerology. So you're surrendering to the process, going with the flow. That's the energies that I'm getting right here. Matter of fact, I forgot to light my candle. Let's get a little bit of sage going too for you guys. I'm so excited, y'all, because now I was gifted a plant of sage, so now I can create my own sage bundles instead of purchasing them. So I'll give y'all a little bit of my homemade sage, all right. All right, let's get this started. And this likes to burn, 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 so hopefully it doesn't burn all the way out. All right, let's see what the kinetic has to say. I'm shuffle one more good time. Five of scarabs. Yeah, you're surrendering to the process and allowing the universe to take over what is meant to happen for you, what is destined for you. Because I feel like you were afraid that you were possibly going to go into some type of energy of poverty. But I don't feel like that's what's going to happen. I feel like that was some type of projecting energy or someone was projecting that onto you to make you think that because our thoughts create our reality and if you think something it becomes reality so someone wanted you to feel that way so that you would create that into your personal reality because right now Scorpio you're starting off with the Kepra card which is the ace of scarab so your finances and your abundance is protected and what's required for you to be able to actually see that is to move away from a lot of deception and a lot of chaotic conflict that has been going on possibly when it comes to working with others with the three of scarabs maybe in a workplace setting with the eight of scarabs somewhere that you have been working or something that you've been working on i feel like there is some research or some things that you need to do with the scribe of swords to be able to see exactly what has been going on and then after you figure it out, stand in the Queen of Swords energy, protecting yourself, only allowing the truth to evolve you, and also keeping yourself in a self-control, balanced energy with my aunt. Okay? But let's see. What's the Ace of Scarabs? I don't want it to burn my whole bundle out. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. You can tell it's organic because it just keeps burning. Okay. Let's see. What's the Ace of Scarabs? Burns better than the bought ones, for sure. The Warrior of Swords. So, with the Warrior of Swords, I'm saying you're going to have to defend your future, defend what it is that you're building on, this new beginning. Maybe there is a project that you're working on that's going to bring in a lot of finances for you. You have to defend that, okay? What is the Six of Swords? And defending it could simply be just walking away from something because you know that it's not serving you right anymore. Shy and Renanut, which is the Will of Fortune. So once you do that, you will have prosperity. You will have abundance. The will is in your favor right now. What is the Three of Scarabs? Two of Onks and the Five of Swords. Someone doesn't want you to con connect with a soulmate. Someone doesn't want you to connect with someone that is on the same level as you. They're trying to keep you in this conflict. That's why 
it's time for you to walk away from it because they want you to stay in this conflict and miss out on opportunities to work with a soulmate. But these people are the ones that you need to walk away from. These people that are in the Five of Swords energy. Don't allow these people to use your heart, good heart, your pure heart, your nurturing heart against you. Because you do have a soulmate that's coming in for you. What's the Eight of Scarabs? You might be meeting this person at work or this person is someone you met at work. Or this new job or new project that you're working on. The scribe of scarabs and the four of scepters. So something small can it can start off small because right now I feel like you might need to you know go on a lunch date with this person or this person might offer you a lunch date. Okay, so whatever resonates with you, take this offer because this is going to end up working out in your favor and you're going to have union with this person possibly marriage okay the four scepters can mean marriage or union coming together this could also be like a a destined soulmate what's the scribe of swords Atet. it could be a cancer but that's moving forward and then the warrior of swords came out yes defending defending what you know so this information that you're going to obtain by doing some research or some background checks, maybe you're going to find some information about these people that have been spying on you too. Because I feel like there's some people that's been trying to, not only have you been trying to figure out stuff, someone's been trying to figure out stuff about you. Once you figure that out, close it out and move away. What is the Queen of Swords? three of scepters so as you e continue to evolve and continue to protect yourself and you're waiting for something to come in you might feel this energy of stagnancy because the Finks is the hangman card you might feel like you're stuck having to keep dealing with these people again this is projection because you will receive someone, you will connect with someone that is willing to have an even give and take with you. This person possibly wants to create and have a child because this is Kanam, the creator Kanam. Um, if not, this person just has a lot of love to give to you and you don't want to be stagnant in not knowing which way to go because of past energies. Keep yourself balanced, self control. Temperance cards, Sagittarius energy. Let's see, what's my aunt? Mm. The two of oak showed up again. Ooh. Atet and the ten, ten of scarabs wanted to show. Interesting. Okay, so this is talking about a family. So you might have a mother because mutts came out in reverse. This person might be a part of the, the group of people that are trying to keep you in this stagnant mindset or keep you frustrated and not knowing which way to go because it did land on the five of swords. So if it's not a, uh, and this person could be connected to the company that you work with. Maybe you work at a company and it's like one of those companies where moms and dads and everybody gets their family in, into the company, but something is not just or balanced and also there's just too much chaos too many comp too too much competition that's in that area in that arena and the the universe basically wants you to move forward because i i showed up here so move forward with this two of unks that's coming in for you so that you can build this generational wealth uh, in a different way take this new beginning that you have and use it wisely okay Let's get you a gem. That keeps coming up. Two of unks, two of unks. Okay, we get it. <laughs> Let's see what your gem is. Red Jasper, number five. So Scorpio, this is good for your sacral chakra, sac chakra and that's your yoga pose. Red Jasper will help 
in all these situations where you will be tested without fear. It gives courage, resistance, and trust in oneself. So this helps you to have trust in yourself and not, you know, be stagnant and not allow other people's projections to interfere with what is meant for you, okay? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.